In today's video, we're gonna be going over $300 or more per day keywords for your Kindle Direct publishing business. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane. And on this channel, I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship, and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe. Drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, we're going over three high potential keywords for you to get into for your Kindle Direct publishing business. A couple of these might work on Audible as well, so I'm going to say ACX as well, and they all have the potential to make you $100 or more per day on Kindle Direct publishing, and then if you add them onto Audible, you can make even more money per day with them. Anyways, this video is all about the month of July. I do one of these keyword videos for Kindle Direct publishing and Audible ACX once per month. I'll give you guys two to three high potential keywords to get into and give a try for your business. So if you like that, again, make sure you subscribe and you'll get a new keyword video every single month from me. Um, it is very hot where I'm living right now. I live in Canada, so I know most of you probably think that we live up here in like igloos and it just snows all the time. But to be honest with you, in the summers, it gets pretty hot. And right now, well, yesterday it was actually 45 degrees in the afternoon. Uh, right now, I think it's around 33 and it's only 11 a.m. So it's very early in the morning still. Well, I guess it's almost it's almost the afternoon, but it's still in the morning and it's already 34 degrees. So if you see me sweating <laughs> profusely while I'm talking about this, that's why. Okay, I just want you guys to know that. But I had to turn my fan off for the video because I want the audio to be good. So I'm struggling through this one. I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, but with the most high quality as I can at the same time. Without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll go over these keywords, see what they're all about. Okay, guys, so you're going to notice a bit of a theme with the first two keywords. And the reason why I'm doing this for the month of July is because it's always good if you have the um, startup capital when it comes to self-publishing books to get in on two different books that are a similar topic so you can bundle them in the future and get a third book out of those two books for free basically because when you make a bundle you're taking book one and book two and putting them together and then making a third book to sell on its own product page so you have three books off of two books technically okay so these first two keywords as you can see this one's kind of about toddlers and parenting are both in the same kind of niche so you can definitely get into both of these guys and make a bundle out of them all right so the first one here is montessori toddler and please if i'm pronouncing that wrong don't don't roast me in the comments i'm trying my best but Montessori Toddler, I had no idea what this even meant, but I did see it pop up while I was doing some keyword research and it does have some potential. So the numbers on this one, and you can see BookBeam is already showing them at the top of the page now. It's a new feature. You don't even have to click the extension. So this is the BookBeam extension. If I click it, it shows me the numbers, but it's already showing them at the top of the page. So I don't even have to click them anymore. And it gives you the numbers underneath them as well. So you can see what's going on. But what we always look for with a high potential keyword is first things first, if it fills the search bar. And when I started typing in Montes, but I got through on the S, it started autofilling toddler. Okay, so that's our first one. If it's not autofilling the search bar, the demand really isn't there. Moving on to the second thing is the results. So this book only, this particular keyword, excuse me, only has 2000 results. So that's not a whole lot of competition. What we're looking for is usually under 5000 results. So 2000 results is quite good. And finally, well, there's a couple more things we're looking at, but the other most important thing is gonna be the competitors with the reviews and the average BSR. So first things first, let's look at the competitors with their reviews. And you're typically looking for not a whole lot of competitors that have over 1,000 reviews. So we see scrolling through here, there's one here, and this one has a lot. Um, Books inspired by interest doesn't really count. That's kind of a um, personalized feed that Amazon creates for you. So this will be different for everybody. So we're gonna skip, skip past that. And you'll see below 1,000 here. Um, I'm not seeing any more. One right there. So not too bad. To be honest with you, that's very low. If you have under three books that have a thousand or more reviews on your product or on your search page when you search up your keyword, that's very good. So finally, let's click the average BSR here. You can already see it here. So typically what we're looking for is around 150K. That's after we remove the outliers though. So there are a couple outliers in this group. And what an outlier is, is when it's totally outside of what the other books are in terms of ranking. So you can see here, this one has 700K and all the other ones are below 100 pretty much. So I'm gonna remove this guy and that's gonna drop our average BSR to 200,000. And this one has a million. And this is an ad, so it's actually not even adding it to the mix, so it doesn't matter. 
This one has 300,000, so I'll take away that one, and I think we're gonna get below 100K there, which is very good still. 150 to 200,000 is still very good. So if your keyword has that, it definitely has potential. So right now, this keyword is taking all of those boxes, fills the search bar, uh, has less than 5,000 results, has not very many books with over 1,000 reviews, and an average BSR around 150 to 200K. Very good, and don't get me wrong, a BSR below 150 is even better, but this one is not looking too bad. So that is keyword number one. And again, it's about Montessori Toddler. It's a kid's kind of parenting book. So if you're into that kind of thing, excellent keyword to get into. Moving into keyword number two here, it is authoritative parenting. And yes, it auto fills the search bar. That was the first thing that I checked. And I just had to wipe my face off because it was getting so sweaty in here. I'm sorry guys, it's super hot. So if you hear that, my laptop is also overheating. You can probably hear it in the background. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, keyword number two. And as you can see, like I was saying in the beginning, the two keywords that I've shown you so far, Montessori Toddler and Authoritative Parenting could definitely be a bundle in the future because they are very similar topics, but they're not the same. So you can make two different books about them and then bundle them together and sell them as one so you get that third free book. So as we look at the results page here, we have only 300 results for Authoritative Parenting, very, very low. And as we scroll through, there are a few more in this particular keyword that have over 1,000 reviews, but I would still suggest making a bundle out of these two books. Maybe I wouldn't suggest doing authoritative parenting on its own because the other competitors in this niche are, there's a lot of competitors with over a thousand reviews. But if you were to make two books and bundle them together, authoritative parenting and Montessori toddler, I think it would be worth it because you could definitely make a bundle out of two and sell that one as well. You get that free book. So although the competitors are stronger in this keyword, I still think it's worth it for you to get into and make a bundle out of the two of them. Um, looking at the average BSR, it's very low because a lot of the competitors are ranking very highly with tons of reviews. So if I click up here, um, we can even remove this 1 million one. It'll drop it even lower to 4,000, which is insane. But as you can see, there's very high, um, com very high reviews on the competitors for this particular keyword. But again, I would still think it's worth it because you can bundle the two together, Montessori uh, Toddler and Authority of Parenting and make a lot of money off of the two of them. However, I wouldn't suggest you go into authoritative, parent, authoritative parenting on its own. I definitely suggest going to Montessori Toddler before you go into this one. But if you're gonna bundle them, definitely a good strategy here. So that is keyword number two. And finally guys, moving into keyword number three, this one's completely off topic, completely different from the other two, but I wanted to add it in because I saw it the other day and it was a particular cookbook that I haven't seen any time before. Okay, and I, to be honest, I thought I had seen all of the cookbooks on Amazon, but this one, however you say this, Ayurveda cookbook popped up. And to be honest with you, I thought it was pretty interesting. It's definitely a different kind of diet medicine type deal that I haven't really seen before. So it's definitely a keyword that you should get into if you're interested in making cookbooks. The one thing with cookbooks is that you can't really make audiobooks about cookbooks. So you're kind of stuck with KDP when it comes to this particular type of keyword. Um, with the other guys, you can definitely make audiobooks out of Montessori Toddler and stuff like that. But when it comes to uh, Ayurveda, I don't know, however you say that, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, cookbook, it's definitely a cookbook that you, or a, a book that you wouldn't want to make an audiobook about. But looking at the numbers, 600 results, so very good there. Average BSR is very low without even removing outliers. So this one is 3 million. This is an ad though, so I can't remove it. Uh, this one is 800, another ad, never mind. Um, not really any of that I removed, to be honest. There's not really any outliers in this first page. So 150 is the true average BSR for this guy. So it's definitely good. Like I said, 150 is what we're looking for. And it did autofill the search bar as well, which was important. And then looking at the competitors, this one's definitely lower than looking at something like authoritative parenting, where like almost all the books are over a thousand reviews. A couple of them aren't, so you still have potential to rank on the first page if you were to make a very high quality book. But with Ayurveda Cookbook, um, there's not as many books with over a thousand reviews. Don't get me wrong, there still are some like this guy. Uh, this one, this one's very high. This is one of the most popular cookbooks on Amazon, has been for a very long time. Um, but don't get me wrong, you definitely rank on the first page for this particular keyword. You can see there are some that have lower amounts of reviews on them, 200, 150. Uh, and there was even one that was even lower than I thought I saw earlier. Scrolling down here, this one has 17. This is an ad though, that's why it's ranking so high. Um, 110, 16. So this one's ranking on the first page, only 16 reviews. So you do have the potential to rank on the first page with this one. And again, with cookbooks, 
not an audible base book or an audio book you could get onto there. It's more of a book that you would be using pictures and visuals for. So one thing to keep in mind, but if you're into cooking and it's something you're passionate about and you know a little thing or two about this type of cookbook, definitely a good keyword to get into if you're just getting into Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the three different keywords I gave to you today. Number one was Montessori Toddler. Two was Authoritative Parenting. Again, I wouldn't recommend getting into Authoritative Parenting on its own. If you're gonna get into it, make sure you bundle it with a book like uh, Montessori Toddler, for example. And then number three was Ayurveda Cookbook. So if those things interest you, I definitely recommend getting into them. They do have a lot of potential for making solid online income. Uh, and if you did like the video, again, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop a like on it, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every single week. So every single week, I post new videos all about lifestyle, self-publishing, and every month, like I said, I'll post one of these keyword videos for you to take in the information and possibly get into Kindle Direct Publishing. If you guys are interested in learning more about Kindle Direct Publishing for free, you can click the link down below. It'll take you to my free mastermind Facebook group. You can get in there, join, mingle with a bunch of high high quality publishers, people who are making over $10,000 in a single month in that Facebook group. So if you're interested in getting in there and networking with them, click the link in the description, take you there. And I'm also in there, you can talk to me. Sorry guys, it's getting hot in here. I need to end this video, I'm like sweating. I have a towel here that I've been wiping my face with in between cuts. So anyways guys, if you liked it, again, drop a like, hit subscribe and join that Facebook group if you wanna to talk to me about self-publishing, I'm in there and I look forward to seeing you guys in there, okay? So anyways, that's it for this week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.